Tools for Writing, Tool 40A. 40A tells us the noun that a pronoun stands in for or refers to is called the pronoun's referent. It needs to be close behind the pronoun and it needs to be clear that this is the pronoun's referent. Again, referent, you can see the word refer. So this is the noun that the pronoun refers back to. Write that down and I'll show you a few examples. Okay, Joe eats his Wheaties. Once again, Joe is a subject here. Eats is the verb, and his Wheaties are the SBC. So the pronoun his, right here, what is the referent for his? Well, it's, it refers back to, to whom? To Joe. So Joe is the referent for his. He likes to be healthy. We can see in the ne next sentence, the subject is he. And who's the referent there? Well, it's still Joe. Okay, So this is still close enough that we can tell who we're talking about. If I say Joe eats his Wheaties, he likes to be healthy, it's clear that this subject and the verb, who is the he, it still refers back to Joe. So it doesn't need to be in the same sentence, but it needs to be fairly close. Um, also, it can get confusing if you have more than one noun that could be the referent. Let's look at these sentences. Joe eats breakfast with Mike. He likes to eat with him. Okay, our subject is Joe. What does he do? He eats. What does he eat? Breakfast, SBC, and with Mike is our prepositional phrase. When we get into the pronouns here, though, it can get confusing, right? He likes to eat breakfast, eat with him. Well, who are we talking about? Are we saying that Joe likes to eat with Mike or that Mike likes to eat with Joe? We don't know. So the questionable what we know this is the subject, but who is the referent for this pronoun? We're not sure. And if we were to write it this way, we might have to write it, rewrite it and write it in a different way to say something like, Joe likes to eat with him. Well, now it's a little bit clearer.